On March 2, 2009, over 12,000 students from across the United States came together in Washington, D.C. for the largest climate change lobby day in history. They represented over 350 congressional districts as they voiced their concerns on America's energy and economic future. Over 30 Loyola students attended the conference to enhance their organizing skills and increase their awareness of environmental and social justice issues connected to climate change. They left the night of March 26th in a caravan to DC. This is their story. These are people that are going to inherit a world um, that, that, that is really scary if we don't seriously start dealing with our country's energy choices. Today. And so we're here to say that this is it, Congress. This is it, President Obama. We need bold federal energy climate legislation this year. We cannot wait another minute. We cannot wait another second. Come snow or come shine, young people are going to stand up and get our, get our country and our future on the right way. Throughout the weekend, students learned about the impacts of the coal industry, which is a major contributor to both global warming and environmental injustice. On Monday, they had an opportunity to join 5,000 protesters at the Capitol Coal Plant to voice their opinions on the issue. We've got an, an, an economy that's in the tank. We've got a climate crisis on our hands. We're fighting two wars over foreign oil. It's not the ideal situation we'd like to inherit, but we're stepping up as a generation, and we want to lead. We want to lead our parents and our grandparents. We believe that we are at the forefront of a movement. We're about to turn our country around, create millions of new green jobs, create a new clean energy economy for this country, and make sure we never have to fight another war over foreign oil again. The reason I can't give you a definite answer is because... You're still figuring it out? No, I, it's, it's just, it's just it feels right. That's the only thing I can really give you. You know, it just it feels like this is what is supposed to be happening. And you can't really quantify that. You know, you can't always put a description on it, but I'm just doing what feels right to me, what makes me feel good. And I hope that's what everybody else is doing. And that's how real change comes. Sometimes you can't, just like how you can't explain why you love someone sometimes. You just do. And that's how you feel, but that's how I feel about the, the earth. You know, I just love the earth and I want to take care of it. And it's just sometimes you can't explain it. You can't explain those emotions or those feelings inside of you. So yeah, it just I'm doing this because it feels right. <laughs> and that's what's supposed to happen right now. All we're lacking is political will, and that is why there are 12,000 young people in Washington, D.C. to make sure we have the political will to make it possible. We're trying to figure out, you know, we're trying to push some reforms, you know, and uh, we're part of her constituency, and, uh, you know, we just want to represent and tell her what we want, you know, like any other good responsible citizen should be doing. So, yeah, Power Shift 09.